Welcome back, and it's good to have you with us here at Mid-Morning. Question for you, Barb, have you ever wished you were a wizard? Hey, listen, I'm a Harry <laughs> Potter fan, so calling all Harry Potter fans, Sarah Beth brown Roby is here with Lexpecto Patronum. And to tell us more how you can attend the 2017 Winter Wizarding Waltz. Hey, Thank you so hi, much for good coming to see in. You. Yeah, nice. I just now you don't know it. what that I, is. I want to say it again though. What is Lexpecto Pendronium? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, right? Close. Um, Lexpecto Patronum is a play <laughs> on one of the magic spells from Harry Potter, which is Expecto Patronum. So we. Thought we were clever. I, added a I little like L that a yeah. lot. I think that's really good. Yeah. So we are the local chapter of the um, National Harry Potter Alliance, which uh -huh. it's actually international. There are some Harry Potter Alliance clubs um, in foreign countries as well, um, and we connect social justice issues with popular um, culture, so that it's easy for people who have never done something social justice-y uh, to get involved. Right now we have a series called um, Refuel um, and Resist um, that's happening at um, Third Street Stuff. You can go today at noon and learn about some youth empowerment issues um, over your lunch hour. Um, we have another one on Thursday. That's the last of our series. We also have an activist book library that we have in town. Um, we do a sock drive with a Dobby theme um, to get socks for um, local homeless organizations. We do a lot of work in the community. You probably didn't get some of those references Dobby and all those well right. but anyway right. but it's a great way to bring people in yeah and uh, educate them on other issues as well now you have a winter wizarding waltz tell yeah. us about that so it's our big fundraiser so if you are a Harry Potter fan and you were to put together the ultimate Harry Potter night, this is what it would be. So we have entertainment. We have March Madness marching band, which a lot of people have seen outdoors, but you've never seen them until they're inside a building. Mm -hmm. um, just the sheer volume is kind of great. Um, and then we have the Mecca dancers are coming and they have a whole routine that they have choreographed um, to go with this waltz. Um, Lexington Vintage Dance Society gave us a choreographed routine that people can learn online or they can come on Friday evening um, to the plantary and they can learn it. Um, and so when you start the waltz off, they get to do the first number, which is really fun. Are, are people going to come dressed as their favorite I Harry so, Potter? Well, I mean, we, yeah. we don't really have, I, if you show up in a Harry Potter t-shirt, and she, that's fine, but some people really, really like to go for go it. All out, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fine. Th we, this is, does not sound like something you uh, sit around for. Uh. No, 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 no. <laughs> and we have um, Horizon Alley, which is a um, night market sort of thing um, with locally crafted books, um, kind of focused on geeks and nerds and readers. Um, so if you're one of those sorts of people, um, some upcycled books that are really gorgeous, some corsets. I love it. Yeah. Sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. And it's Saturday, 6 to 10, mm -hmm. and it's at the Lyric. At the Lyric, yeah. Very and good. a multi-course Harry Potter themed meal. I don't oh, want to forget that. All right. Forget. All right. Yeah. 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 Got to be fed, right? Thank yeah. you. Sarah Bay, yeah. thanks for coming. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you.